Although we wish Joshua Morrow was single, he is married and even has kids. But hey we are very happy for him. But recently we have been hearing that Joshua and his wife have separated. Are they really divorced? Let's find out right away. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Joshua Morrow has not only captivated audiences with his on-screen romances, but also has a heartwarming real-life love story with his wife, Toby Keeney Morrow, spanning over 22 years. The couple, who met more than two decades ago, share a bond that goes beyond the glitz and glamour of television. In an interview with Soaps in Depth, Joshua Morrow couldn't help but gush about his wife, expressing, I love her to death and I truly don't deserve her. The couple tied the knot in 2001, and has since built a beautiful family together, raising four children. Three sons named, Cooper Jacob, Crew James, and Cash Joshua, born between 2002 and 2008, and a daughter, Charlie Jo, welcomed in 2012. Morrow credits Toby for giving him the four coolest children he could ever ask for, and emphasizes the joy they bring to his life. Their love story began over two decades ago, when Joshua met Toby. Recalling the moment they met, he shared, I had met the most beautiful, magical, and hot woman in the world. I told her on the spot, we're getting married someday, and she said, shut up, you weirdo. Despite this unconventional start, their love has grown, proving that sometimes, real-life romance is more enchanting than any scripted storyline. Toby Keeney Morrow, the daughter of James and Linda Keeney, has a background rooted in family and ordinary life. Growing up on an almond orchard in Paso Robles, California, she embraced her tomboy side, while also indulging in artistic pursuits like dancing. Toby, a former teacher, taught first grade at Langdon Avenue Elementary School in the Los Angeles Unified School District in 1997. After taking a break to be a full-time mom, she returned to teaching once her children were in school, sharing her passion for education. In 2017, Toby opened up in an interview for Calvary Christian School, where she formerly taught, and said, it's great teaching in the same school with my children. I absolutely love when they all come to my classroom. It's the best job in the world. Transitioning from teaching, Toby took on a new career as the principal designer at Morrow & Company, an interior design firm. Describing her aesthetic as classic and comfortable, she found her calling in creating beautiful and meaningful spaces. On Instagram, Toby reflected on her career change, stating, when I was a teacher, my favorite thing to do was create magical spaces for my students. I should have known what my next career path would have been. That's not all. She also shared a video from Easter with her student and said, the students found their creations as table decor and garland, and their beautiful art on display like a museum. The smiles and the pride in their little eyes was all the thanks I needed, hashtag it's always in tales. Toby's eye for design has not gone unnoticed, even by the rich and famous. Singer Catherine McPhee Foster, a client of Morrow & Company, has praised Toby's work, commenting on a kitchen nook design, my house be so pretty. Toby's attention to detail and commitment to creating meaningful spaces have resonated with clients, making her a sought-after designer. So if you've heard any rumors of them separating, don't worry because they are very much in love as before. Just because Joshua doesn't post much about his wife, doesn't mean they are divorced, right? As Joshua continues to portray the charming Nick Newman, fans can appreciate the real-life romance that he shares with Toby. Aren't they the perfect match? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.